Here is how to be unbothered, how to not let anyone get on your nerves. This is really hard. This is going to take a lot of power. This is, this is going to be a lot of emotional control. I'm an etiquette consultant and the thing that I teach to my students is that emotional control is the hardest thing that you can do, but it's the best thing you can do. How to be unbothered is by first understanding your triggers. It's always the people who know you the best that can hurt you the most because they know exactly what buttons to press to make you feel bad about yourself. Say for example, you know it hurts when they talk about how you look in a certain outfit. Know your triggers. Don't let that person get to you because they're deliberately trying to get to you because they're feeling toxic right now. Something is going on with them that they want to take it out onto the world, whether it's you, just because you're the first thing to cross their path, they're going to obliterate you. Make sure that you do not be bothered with this because they're probably going through something themselves and you know it's not about you. Second, when you know it's not about you, this is the time to don't react. This is the time to not react. This is the time to breathe. Take six seconds, take a minute, take 15 minutes, go into the other room and then come back and deal with them when they are simmered down. Ask if there's going something going on with them. Get them to get it out. Explain to you what they're going through. And if they're that close enough to attack you that way, they're probably really close. Nobody will deliberately try to hurt you that way unless they're going through something themselves. They're projecting. Anger or jealousy or it could be shown as anger is misinformed admiration. So if someone's angry at you for doing something that's good, that if you're doing something successfully, if you're doing something well, or if you are showing up in a way that they don't feel like they are adequate in showing up in a way that they cannot perform as well as you can, or they're comparing themselves to you for some reason, they will try to put you down. Sometimes it's not the person that's toxic, it's what they're doing that is toxic. Yes, there are absolutely those people that are trying to ruin you, trying to destroy your world, those people just walk away. Just walk away. Have to remember that you can walk away even if it is someone that you care about, what a loved one. Understand that if they're trying to trigger you, take a deep breath. It's not about you. You know how to manipulate a situation so that you do not get those triggers mentioned. You do not even think of the idea. You swerve all of these roots and you know not to mention divorce, you know not to mention children, you know not to mention politics, you know not to mention Radiohead, Where, whatever side they're on, you do not want to go over that endless cycle of nonsense that you don't have to deal with, you don't have the energy, you don't have the time. You rather create great memories with a person than spend time dealing with an uncomfortable situation that both of you know that you will lament later on. Next is to walk away if it's not serving you anymore. If this keeps happening, if this is consistent, it's not for you. So just remember that being unbothered, like all you have to do is walk away. If someone is still trying to get uh, a reaction out of you, all you have to do is say, you don't even deserve my reaction. You've thrown it out the window by the way that you're acting and I'm not gonna entertain this with a repost. I'm not gonna deal with it. I don't have to react. Why am I gonna react? It just creates wrinkles. I cannot relate to people who react. Be unbothered, control your emotions, no matter how much you wanna scream, no matter how, how much you wanna react, go work out, go do your makeup, go do your hair, go cook a, a fabulous meal for five and invite all your friends over. This is positive energy. I channeled it into something great and like use it. Fuel it into your work. Fuel it into what outfits you're gonna wear for the week. Fuel it into making your house nice. Go clean the house. Go clean a little section of your house. Clean your bathroom. Make your bed really nice. Gratitude, I have a wonderful list of things to be alive for. Live intentionally and channel it into something. Being unbothered is the ultimate thing that you can do to stay strong. Take this, visit DixonEtiquette.com and if you're going to a wedding, if you're going to a business dinner, talking with your family and trying to be as diplomatic as possible, if you are trying to be a great parent, you are going to need fantastic communication skills. Subscribe if you want a more elegant life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.